So put yourself in my position. You're in the middle of writing a song and you hit a bit of a wall with it. So you go onto YouTube to look for some videos that might re-inspire you. And then out of the corner of your eye, you see a new video by Tanamon... Tanamon... You see a new video by Tana. And then you think to yourself, well, Hefner was shit and fuck up was equally as bad. Maybe she's got better. So you click on the video and then you listen. So you sit back, you contemplate, and you think to yourself, what the fuck was she saying? Hi guys, my name's Lou, and welcome back to the only channel on YouTube with 57 subscribers. So, today I'm going to be taking a look at uh, Tana... Tana... I, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Is it, is it Mongu? I've heard some people say Mojo, but that doesn't look how it's spelled. I, I don't know how the fuck you say her last name. We're going to be having a look at Tana's new video, um called FaceTime. Now, I want to do something a little bit different with this series. Um, it started off as just me kind of talking and uh, explaining why I think these songs are bad, um, but I want to do something a little bit different this time. I want to actually rate these songs and kind of put them on a bit of a scale, because not all these songs are absolute garbage. I just want to clear that up. I don't think all these songs are absolute garbage. There's some parts of these songs which I actually think are quite decent. Um, but then there's a lot of flaws in them which I like to kind of discuss in these videos and that kind of thing. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to rate them. And if I think these songs have quite a bit of potential, I'll do a cover. And I'll uh, try and do quite a serious cover of it and try and do it some justice. If I think that these songs have absolutely no potential at all, I'm going to do a slam cover. And if you've never heard slam before, it sounds a little something like this. So that's what we're going to be doing with these videos from now on, and uh, let's just get straight into this one. Okay, first off, it sounds like she learned her diction from the school of MDMA. I think Face Gurn or Gurn Time would probably be a better name for this song. And look, okay, I know, some of you may be thinking, but you know, you listen to metal, how's that any more understandable than Tana Mongu's ununderstandable song? And okay, listen. If you can't understand the in-depth and poetic lyrics of a band such as intracerebrally consuming cephalalgia through the cranium macerating debris fuck manure ingested remains of the mind fuck cataplexic wicked mankind who fist fuck the progenies from the deepest depths of the anal maggot fucked human pieces of erotic shit mass which gave birth to the worthless eunuchs as travesty for the cum stained enslaved by the stupid society full of fetal garbages then, in my opinion, there's something wrong with you. Whoa! What was that? It was like... It's so offbeat, it kind of sounded like a mixture of a triplet and a straight beat. Since when did Tana start learning about polymeter? And you know, we're, we're, we're making jokes now, but like, who's gonna be the one who's laughing when Tana's fronting with sugar singing heavily auto-tuned and unintelligible lyrics over New Millennium Cyanide Christ? So the actual vocals are quite hard to understand, but... There must be something in the lyrics. So let's take a quick look. Henny in my system. I'm gone. Speeding on the e-way. All gone. Girl, you put up with the- Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I get- I get the feeling this isn't Tanner's song. And, uh, no, it's not. It's actually 21 Savage's song, also called FaceTime. So, uh, let me just go and try and find Tanner's for a second. And we're two oceans apart. And I'll break your heart. And you're falling apart, cause I'm in love with the dark. And we're two oceans apart, we were fucked from the start. I can see here that she's using that old tried and true method of uh, not once changing up the rhyme scheme in the verse. I also love how all the words end in art. It's like she's almost gone through the dictionary and tried to find every single word that ends in art. Except... Except maybe for one. There we go. And then she continues. I don't want to fall asleep on FaceTime. It's like you're gone every time my phone dies. I just want some fucking face-to-face -face time. And I've got little tendencies to waste time. She didn't put the eye in. So don't depend on me to wait all night. So baby, come on over, sip this red wine. 
Because, baby, I can't say no to those eyes. Okay, so I find this chorus to be very confusing for a couple of reasons. The first reason is it kind of seems that she's uh, denouncing this whole sort of thing of having a relationship over the internet and talking only on applications and how that's really wrecking the relationship. She just wants to see him face to face. And then on the other hand, she's actually included the name of a specific application to do that, which kind of comes across like she's trying to be cool and hip and trendy and down with the kids, you know? And then the second thing that really confused me was at the start of the song, she says, we're two oceans apart. And now she's saying, so baby, come on over, sip this red wine. I'm not going to wait all night. Is she oblivious to the fact that if he lives two oceans away from her, it will probably take him at the very least about 12 hours to get there. So, you know, maybe you want to rethink that. Maybe you don't want to hold him to such high standard. I don't know. I'm just nitpicking on stupid stuff, but it does sound a little bit silly to me. So, yeah, if I was to give this song a rating, I'll say it's not bad enough for me to give it full slam treatment. But um, because the vocals are incomprehensible, what could be more appropriate than a cattle decapitation style death grind cover? Steve!